se go he se go he se go hi sangolo he se go he se go jerry he se go he se go hi sharon he se go he se go eh sangolo he se go until he se go he se go Chai, it's a go. Hey, Sharon, it's a go. Hmm? It's a go. It's a go. Huh? It's a go. Hmm? It's a go. Hmm? It's a go. It's a go. Eh? Chai, it's a go. Isego, hi, Sharon. Isego, 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 Chai, Isego, Hey. You haven't finished. <laughs> My sweet baby, look, look, just a little bit, okay? Just, uh, I'm almost done. I, uh, I'm almost done, okay? But I told you I'm having body pains, eh? Hey. Please just hurry up so that you can help me go to the market and get something for me. Okay, okay. You are putting pay. Oh, are you hope you're okay. Okay, uh, which, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go to the market first or I should finish washing the cloth? No, 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 just wash. But it's just that you're wasting so much time. Oh, oh, oh my sweet potato, don't worry. Before you do it, I'll be done. And then I'll go to the market. Mm, okay, okay, I'll be inside, okay? When you're done, you let me know. No problem, no problem, my sweet potato, no problem. Ah, Charlie, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, sorry, eh? Sorry, don't worry. I'll, I'll hasten up now. Hey! You say go. <laughs> ah! Say go. You say go. Hey! You say go. Sharon, I don't like the way you are treating that young man. Why are you treating him like a slave? Is it because he's so unfortunate to fall in love with you? Eh? Okay, he fell in love with me. So he should pay the price for falling in love. Yes. What price? Thank you. Number one, washing my clothes. Two, taking my goods to the market. So it's now a crime to fall in love, eh? Why are you punishing that young man? Sharon, if you don't want him, if you're not interested in him, tell him so that he can walk away peacefully. Did I tell you that I'm not interested? I mean, I'm still thinking about his love request. Who knows, um, tomorrow I might be interested. Who knows? <laughs> ah. Sharon. Let me remind you that what goes around comes around. You are taking advantage of him because you know he's madly in love with you, right? Why did you lie to him that you have body pains? You and I know that you don't have any body pain. Why did you lie? No, go and tell him. Go! I cannot tell him because you are my friend. But it's also my duty to tell you when you are doing something not good. I am going back to the house. I sense. Yeah, go back. Who called you out?
I still don't understand why we are still here. Let's go to the market now, eh? Okay, we're waiting for Justin. I don't know what's holding him. You're waiting for Justin? Mm. Were you not the person that has been pushing your barrel to the market before you met him? Why are you always looking for an opportunity to punish that young man? Why? Eh? You always blackmail that guy because he's blinded by stupid love. Leave that young man alone now. What is it? Ricky, are you jealous of me? Yes. Are you jealous of me? Okay, if you're jealous of me, do me one favor. Go get yourself a man that will love you just as Justin loves me and also be your slave. And please, let me be. Hey, Uncle Jela. My man. Uncle Jela is on tail. Now, deal. Where have you been now? Come on, I did, I did, I did. Okay, no, yeah, you see, I want to go and fetch one. Okay, yeah, I see. Um, wait, so... How far is Justin inside? No, 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 he come out too. He follow this place now, he go see her. Ah. Yeah, make her go fetch what I did, come back. Please leave me alone. What kept you? Why did you keep us here waiting? Please, let's go. Let's go. My Lord. Hurry, let us go. We don't have time. Okay, okay. Let's go now. Don't carry Please leave her alone and let's go. Ah. My brother, please go, please. I am sorry. I am sorry. Go. Let's go, let's go. Wait, go where? Go where? Look at the time. By this time of the late morning, when other serious minded persons are done making their thousands for the day, you still want us to go for our business because of your stupidity. What do you mean by that? Now listen. What I mean is that your stupidity and your foolishness irritates me. How can you, Justin, Justin, look at me, a mature man like you? You do everything for this girl. You wash her clothes, you wash her place, you wash everything. For the past four days now, what you do is that you first of all, you go to Sharon's place, you pick her wheelbarrows, you take her thing to the market, and you close early enough so that you carry Sharon's same thing to, to, to her place. What kind of man are you, Justin? Is your head okay? Look, I don't blame you. You're, not, you're just rolling your mouth because you have never been in love. Let me tell you. This kind of your love is one-sided, huh? And it's very stupid and foolish. Now, okay, if I may ask you, since you have been showing this love to this girl, mm. see, have she for one day, eh? One day, one day, pet you, talk more of even kissing you, eh? Has she pet you for one day, talk more of even kissing you? Answer my questions now, huh? Answer me. Look, forget that thing. Let me tell you something. When the spirit of love hits you. Bah! I tell you, I pray. That's my own. My prayer is that for the spirit of love to hit you hard. So that you will know that falling in love with someone sometimes, you know, signifies um, or is, um, it shows foolishness or stupidity. See, I prepare that spirit of love will just hit you. Bah! See, see, you are just talking as if you've been blindfolded. Eh? Are you working on that spell? What's wrong with you, Justin? If this is how to fall in love, see, 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 I pray I will never, never, I swear, fall in love. Mm. Eh? This kind of your love is one side, I mean, unrequited and unreciprocated kind of love. <laughs> if your prayer for me is this kind of your love for Sharon, then you just hold it there, okay? I don't need it. Uh, it's okay, let me, let's go. Come on, get your things, let's go.
At this your age, you're still play, chasing after a girl that does not even value you. Gerald, this one you're returning from the market alone. What about your friend? Oh, Sharon, she left earlier. Justin came to take her barrel home. Ah, uh ah, -uh, sorry, I forgot. She has a slave boy. You're welcome. I'll be on my way. Okay. Um, um, um Gerald, excuse me. I'm sorry, I, I want to ask you something. Um, Sharon said Justin told her you're a graduate. Is that true? <laughs> yes, I told Justin about it. Any problem? You're a graduate. Gerard, you are a graduate. So what are you doing here? You see, Vicky, I am here because I've not gotten a better job for myself. And I've been here for a very long time. I trained myself in the school from the proceeds I get from the struggle I do in this ghetto. Um, but as, as for you, you just came to the ghetto. That is why your skin is still fresh like this. By the time the mosquito in this ghetto would dash on your skin, then you will understand. I am sorry to take a little bit of your time. Please, when are you going to give me this answer to my request? You said you're going to give me today. What exactly is your request? Why are you always doing this? Eh? Each time I bring up this topic, you're always giving me the same answer. I love you, Sharon. From the depths of my heart, I do. I, I, I wish to go into a relationship with you. I want you to be my girlfriend. And I'm even anticipating getting married to you. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you just say? Marriage? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for marriage? Try me. Try me and see. Oh... Uh... I told you to change my phone for me, but you haven't bought a new phone for me. The phone you're asking for is expensive. 60,000 Naira worth of phone. Sorry, have you sat down to consider what would happen to my business if I removed 60,000 Naira from it? Have you ever thought about how you take care of me if I become your woman? Come on, 60,000 naira phone I told you to buy for me. You cannot. Yet, you want me to become your woman. Yeah. In other words, you're saying no. Huh? Just tell me. I will stop bothering you. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. When am I expecting an answer from you? When you buy me a new phone, I will give you an answer. Um. All right. I will buy you a phone. Okay, and I'll be waiting for it. Have a good day. I've been a beg you, make you easy with me. My girl, you know be your, you know be your. Uh, uh. You tell me, say, I must do this, do that. Uh. When man fall, man shall rise again. Once there's life, there is hope.
Hi, Vicky. How are you? I'm fine, are you? Thank you. How is your friend, Justin? Come on, you are asking me as if you don't know that. As we speak now, you see that Justin is doing one stupid thing or the other for your friend, Sharon. See, Vicky, I see you are someone reasonable because I've seen you on many occasions upset about how your friend treats my friend like a slave. Gerard, why are we talking about Justin and Sharon? Why? You see, you are her friend. And I would like you to talk sense into her. Speak to your friend Sharon. I hate the way she's maneuvering my friend like nobody. Talk to her. I don't know what she has given to him, but I believe that one day that thing was fate. Gerald, I don't understand. Why are you taking Panadol for another person's headache? Why are you taking it personal? What is it? You see, Vicky. You see, Justin's headache is my headache. See, I just met this guy for a few weeks now, and it's, it's as if we have met for years. We just like brothers. I give him advice, and he gives me advice. But when it comes to issues pertaining Sharon, we never agree on anything. I hate that your friend Sharon. I don't know why Justin is asking like a slave to. It's okay. All right, I will talk to her. It's okay. Calm down. We are not fighting. Come on. It's not as if I've not been talking to her. But you know, Sharon, I, I advise her to either accept his proposal or say no. I don't know what else to do, but I'll talk to her. Calm down. Talk okay. to her, okay? I will talk to her. I, I promise. I don't even know why Justin is not even after you. You're a nice girl with a good character, you know? It's okay. Gerard, what about you? Who is your girlfriend? Who are you in love with? You see, um, Vicky, just, let's just forget about this issue, this issue now, okay? Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about that, okay? Anyway, next Gerald. time, okay? Gerald! It's okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Why you're so concerned about this situation? I've told you to let me make my own decision at my own time. Sharon, you have every right to make your own decision. But must you punish him in the process? Must you? See, if you are not interested, tell him yes or no that, that, that I'm using him as your slave. It's not fair now. Look, this young man is old enough to leave whenever he's tired of the situation, isn't he? Yes, you're right. But he's not walking away because he's madly in love with you. Sharon, be honest to him. Tell him how you truly feel about him. Please. I've heard you. Thank you. I promised to give him an answer when he gets me a new phone. Sharon, that phone you're asking that young man to buy for you is very, very expensive. It's too expensive now. You know that if he buys that phone for you, his business will suffer. Why not go for a cheaper phone? Uh, hey, what about that man that was following you around yesterday? Did you say yes? I don't like him, so I said no. Hey, Vicky, why? That man is so cute and handsome. Did you see it? So? Huh? No, 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 you did not try. You should have said yes. And if you would have said yes, maybe I'll learn from you how to say yes. So. I am not you that gives men false hope. I don't like the young man, so I told him. Ah, say yes. <laughs> you should have said yes. I don't like him. Today, I'm gonna get out tomorrow. Chai, I'm gonna make a guy. If I don't get today, eh, I'm gonna get out tomorrow. Eh, I'm you want to make a die. Hey, reason with me, eh? If I don't get today, I'm gonna get out tomorrow. Chai, 
Have you won't make a die? Now lie. Just see, just see. Now lie, Geraldino. Just see, just see. Geraldino. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Wow, the storm is finally over. I am very, very happy. I have finally bought the phone. I have bought Sharon the phone. Yes, so as soon as I give her the spoon, she becomes mine. <laughs> it's not easy for me. But if I no get today, I go get some tomorrow. Chai! I was like, oh, baby, no go one make I die. You know what, Justin? I'm disappointed in you. Look, you are using a phone of just 2,500 naira. And you got a phone worth over 65,000 naira for a girl that does not even value your love. What kind of um, stupidity is that? What's the problem? See, let me tell you, calm down. It's my money. And the love is mine, not yours. Look, let me tell you something. Ever since I set my eyes on that girl, I fell in love. You get it? So I will do anything possible, everything that is possible, to make that girl mine. She is the love of my life. It's no easy for me. If I don't get today... Wait, so Justin, are you sure you know what you are doing? Eh? Are you sure? Are you very sure? Calm down. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Alright, if you say you know what you are doing, then no problem. But I just wish you luck anyway. And I pray for you as well that that girl will not even run down your business. No, no. I pray that that girl doesn't run your business down. Calm down. That's not that's not true now. You can't be saying that. No, 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 no. That's not possible. Look, I have told you I know what I'm doing. You see, I give her the phone and she gives me her love. No money, no honey. So, but calm down. I know what I'm doing. And I, I can't. Look, trust me. Like, so that's what it be. <laughs> so as it be so, eh? That is that's what it be. If you didn't do like this, it go do me like say you be you be boom boom. Oh, oh I'm mumushiously Sharonia. Sharon, I want to thank you for accepting to come with me to enjoy and marry. <laughs> yes, I really appreciate it and I just say thank you. And of course, the reason I, I brought you here is um, nothing else than to give you a surprise. Okay. And let's see it. You want to see it? Mm hmm Okay. What is inside? Have a good look. Take a good look at it. Aha! Hey, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> thank you! Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Now I am very sure that you love me. Love, love, that I love you. Ah, loving you? No, now. Loving you is an understatement. Ah, no, no, no. I, I cherish you. I, I am, I am so encapsulated by your love. <laughs> you see, you are my sweet potato. Eh? My, my sugar berry. <laughs> it's not. Um. What about you? What about me? Uh, uh, what I mean is, uh, is it mutual? I mean, uh, you know, what do you, f our, our love, what do you feel about us, about me? I mean, will you accept to be my, my love, you know, like, like this? Mm. What did you just do? I just kissed you now. Justin, you are a fool! You don't know anything! Wait, 
Excuse me, what were you thinking? You think I will stoop so low to be with a wretch like you? Oh, no. Okay, thank God you kissed me because I've just confirmed something about you now. Your mouth stinks. It stinks. Go and wash your mouth. And my answer is no. Sharon is not for you. Once there's life, there is hope. That food you saw today, tomorrow you reap all. You only know today, you know not tomorrow. I need your love for now. I need your love for now. Baby, show me some tonight. Show me your love for now. Why are you brushing your mouth this hot Sunday afternoon? I thought you brushed in the morning. You don't even know what happened to me. That idiot! Kissed me! Which idiot? What other idiot other than Justin? Okay, he took me to a bar. And then he gave me the phone he promised me. Uh-huh. Before I knew what was happening, he took his stinking mouth on my own mouth. Disgusting! Shut mouth. up! Shut up your mouth! What is wrong with you? Who the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You think you are Sharon Stone or uh, uh, Genevieve Onaji? Who do you think you are? A vibrant, handsome young man has been making parties at you and all you could do is to call him an idiot with a stinky mouth. Who are you? You are a bigger fool than I thought. What you, shut up your mouth, you don't have anything to say. Nonsense. Sharon, no one, baby, oh. Sharon, no one, mommy, oh. Can you be my best to be my girl, to be my babe for life? Where is this one from? Vibrant young man, my foot. Justin, this one your face is like that. I hope everything is alright. Berard. Ah, oh, bad news. Can you imagine? Sharon disgraced me before everyone and walked out on me. What did I do? What was my offense? Because I just gave her a little kiss. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you wanted to kiss her? Hey, I told you, this girl has been pulling you. Then you went to, 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 to do rubbish with her. I, I would have preferred that she gave you a very hot slap to that be suitable for you. Okay, what about the phone? She went with it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She went with the phone? <laughs> that one is a lie. See, we are going to go and collect that phone immediately. I'm telling you, this is no joke. Calm down. Gerard, How did you buy the phone? Calm down, Gerard. Calm down. <laughs> it wasn't like she collected the phone from me at gunpoint. No. She, I, she didn't force me to give her the phone. I bought her the phone, okay? The phone remains hers. It's hers. Leave it. Let her go with the phone. But one thing is established. And that is our relationship is over. I just said I should come and tell you. Uh, women can be so... Oh. Sharon, that's just you. I, I've been telling you all this all this while. If you had listened to my advice, this thing, this thing wouldn't have happened to you.
sun shall rise again. Once there is life, there is hope. That food you saw today, tomorrow you reap all. You only know today, you know not tomorrow. I need your love for now. I need your love for now. Charles, so you finally did your worst. How can you be in such weak and heartless with mortal like you? <laughs> Is somebody talking? Because I'm just hearing noises. Is someone talking to me? Wait, Sharon. Are you not aware you need a cardiac tonic because your heart is evil? Why did you mess my friend up? Why? Thank God you're not your friend. Because if you could have been your friend, I would have messed you up and down. Now listen to me. Tell your friend that whenever he wants a love relationship, he should go to his class. I am not his class. Get out of here. Sharon, you know what? I hate you. I hate everything about you. I hate the way you manifest my friend. I get him do anything for you without you even giving him anything in return. You're wicked, Sharon. I hate you. about me, Jojo. Tell me what to do. I want to make you my wife. Vicky, I'm sorry. If I've offended you in any way, I'm so sorry. I know I treated Justin in a very bad way, and I'm so sorry about it. But the truth is that I don't love Justin. And I can never be his girlfriend. I'm so sorry. It's okay. The good thing is that you now know you treated him badly. It's okay. You're my friend and I love you. I have since forgotten what transpired between us. I was just waiting for you to come because there is something I need to share with you. Really? What's that? Come and sit down. Sharon, the, uh, the thing is, there is this my friend I met on my way back from the market. She told me that um, a certain company in Abuja is employing people. So um, she also gave me the address of the website. I want to apply online. I don't know if you're in French. Mm, I would have loved to apply, but I didn't go to school. No, 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 no. Funny enough, they don't need people with such qualification. They don't. They just want people that are good looking and beautiful as you are. You have an Android phone, you can actually do it. Eh? Nobody knows where his or her love will come out from. It's what's giving the fire. Okay, I'm really interested. I would love to apply. Okay, you know what? Let's go out and get a time so I can recharge my data so that we can visit the website as soon as possible. Okay, let's go! up and down. Uh, wait, is it because of the WhatsApp message you got or any other news? <laughs> that one is old news. As we speak, I have my employment letter inside my bag. They told me to open an email. I opened it and they sent it to me and I printed it. Wow. <laughs> um, um, that's good news. But are you sure they are genuine? I mean, are they real? <laughs> Vicky, we both, you told me about it, right? 
and we both applied and we know that they are not fake they are real as i'm talking to you now they have transferred money for my transportation and expenses to abuja you know what let's go inside <laughs> Once there is life, there is hope. I told you, I told you it was messy that scored that goal. I told you, it's, it wasn't messy now. It's something I watched. Huh? What did you watch? I said it was messy that scored that goal. My head. Justin, I came to tell you that I'm leaving this ghetto neighborhood for good. I'm going to Abuja. <laughs> I'm leaving you all for good. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice that you're going to Abuja. I wish you safe journey. It's also nice that you're moving to the next level. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I've always known that I don't belong here. That's why I don't like associating myself with poor ghetto boys like. Hey, hey, hey! Will you stop that nonsense? Huh? Stop that nonsense! I mean, will you always talk rubbish? Eh? And nonsense. You keep on walking about talking something that, 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 that is very difficult for the ear to understand. Now listen, you have told him what you want to tell him. And what I want from you now is for you to leave this place before I unleash my anger on you. If I get imperated now, I can do any stupid thing. Do you hear me? Hey, Mr. Man, am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? See, 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 if you don't leave this place now, eh? if you don't leave this place now, eh? this is your two legs, this is your two legs, I will just break it at once, and this your proposed journey to Abuja will be jeopardized. Biko, come out, leave me alone. So just as I was telling you, I am leaving Hello. this. Ah! What's wrong with this girl? Eh? Calm down, calm down. Is there anything wrong with her head? Leave her alone. She wants to go to Abuja. Let her go to Abuja now. Ah, is it your own Abuja? Sophia, I wouldn't have gotten this job. It's okay. It's okay. I just want you to take good care of yourself, okay? And Johnny messes. Take care of yourself. I'll never forget you, I promise it's you. It's okay. Sharon, you are my friend, okay? Just take good care of yourself. Oh, I wish you Johnny messes. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. It's me, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Hi, Zabuja. <laughs> Abuja is so good. How are you? Abuja is more than I expected. <laughs> yes, as I'm talking now, I'm in my own self contained apartment. <laughs> and the company I work for has placed me on a 40,000 naira salary. I'm not just that. You know, it's giving me a laptop which I'm using to work and also talk to you as we speak. Eh? <laughs> That's good. I'm happy for you. 
Uh, um, <clears throat> and Sharon, you know, um, since you traveled to Abuja, they've been calling me from time to time to check up on me. But you have never asked after Justin. Have you even called him on phone to know how he's doing? At least for old time's sake. I don't have his number. Um, do you know what? I'll call you back tomorrow. I have a work day. Thank you. Yeah, I'll call you back. Bye. Beautiful angel, my adorable princess. You seem to be alone. Mind if I join you? Oh, God, yeah, yeah. I know you won't say no. Thank you. Aha. Nice. I hope you're good. I hope everything is fine. Are you all right? You need help? No, 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 no. I, I don't need help. I, I just have a slight headache. I'll be back. Hello, Vicky. Hi, Sharon. What's up? Have you seen Justin recently? Justin? Hope all is well. I mean, you have never asked after him. And then you call me and he's the first person you're asking after. Please, just answer my question. Have you seen him recently? It's very important. The answer is yes. I, I saw him some minutes ago when he was returning from the market. I, are you sure? Sorry, what is wrong with you? I said I saw him. Um, um, wait, do you wish to speak with him? I could go to his house and call you back. No, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Thank you very much. Bye. It's obvious you don't feel too good. Are you all right? Yes, everything is fine. Um, waiter, please come. Um, okay. Uh, it's obvious our friend here is not feeling too good. Um, how much is everything? Two thousand five hundred, sir. Two thousand five hundred. Okay. Mm. It's all right. All right. Um.
Yes. I have the number you give me in the car. So I'll call you, okay? Okay, thank you very much for your kindness. Okay. You're very much okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The other day you acted like someone who was dying. Tell me, what, what actually happened? I don't know. I just suddenly fell ill. I'm so sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. Some days are like that. Mm, it happens to some people like that sometimes. I took permission of my office. Um, an emergency came up and I need to travel tomorrow. Okay, okay. Um, what about the emergency? What about? Um, family matters. Nothing serious. Okay. I'll just be there for three days. Oh, three days. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Um, when you go, say join, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Us in the ghetto? No, never. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come no, on. Oh, never down. mind. I came to see my friend Vicky and I decided to come by and say hi. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, so, how are you and uh, how is Abuja? I, I hope your journey went well. Uh, Justin, I hope you've forgiven me because of the way I treated you when you wanted me to be your girlfriend. Oh, come on. That's, that, was, that's, that was in the past now. <laughs> I've forgotten about that one. <laughs> no, it's gone. It's gone. And I hope you've also realized how right I was when I rejected you. Because if you look at me right now, you'll see that I've gone into a whole new level. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I can see. Congratulations on your new level. And it's a good thing I rejected you. Because I keep thinking what life would have been 
If I would have accepted your request. Um, um, please, um, Sharon, before you came, you can say I was very, very busy. Please, you can go now. <laughs> please, okay? Um, I almost forgot something. This is 10,000 Naira. Take it. Clean yourself. Wash yourself. It will do a lot good for you. Have it. Come on. I insist. Have it. No. I don't need it. No, no, no. Take please it. Please go. Please, Sharon. Go. Take it. Go. Please. Thank you. Like, it's, it's just cut. Please go. Go, Sharon. Go. This is just a cafe in Abuja. Sharon, don't make me do this. Please go. Sorry, I invited you to my place. I have a confession to make. Go ahead, I'm listening. Frank, I think I've fallen in love with you. This type of thing has never happened to me in my life. I can't hide it anymore. Ever since we met, it's like the whole world is turning around me. I can't hide my feelings for you anymore. Honestly, Sharon, I never knew you had a soft spot for me. I like you anyways, but I've never really thought about Tim AC. Come, let, come to think of it, let me ask you. Are you trying to say a very beautiful girl like you does not have a boyfriend? Or are you trying to tell me you're not into a serious relationship? Well, the truth is that some men have been making serious advances at me. The last one is a multi-millionaire. And he has chains of businesses scattered all around. But I said no. Look, I've never ever felt this way in my life. Frank, what will we call this relationship we're into? We'll call it friendship. But... I never really thought about having a love affair. Frank, am I not beautiful enough? I love you and I want you in my life. Look, Frank, let's take this relationship to a higher level, please. Hey. No, don't, don't do this, please. I am not ready for this. Please. Uh, maybe it's later I could begin to maybe love you but for now please i have got to go okay i'll call you tomorrow please but frank Please, please. 
Are you saying we're not going to sleep with each other? Why should we? Are we man and wife? <laughs> Do we need to be man and wife before we sleep with each other? What about others that make love without being married? Yes. We are not other people. I am Frank and you are Sharon. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. I don't want this to be to cause a misunderstanding between us, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I give you my consent, okay? Just, just do it. Do what? Like, have me. Come on. What, 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 what is, what is wrong with you? That what? food you saw today, tomorrow you reap all. You only know today, you know no tomorrow. I need your love all night, I need your love all night, oh baby. Show me some love tonight, show me your love all night, all night, all night. It's very difficult for me to understand what you're saying. I thought he slept in his house the other day. I slept in his house. But I can confirm to you that he didn't even come close to me. Talk more of getting to know the shape of my laps. I don't understand. You are irresistible and charming. How can you resist your beauty? Wait. Does he look sick that night? Frank was okay. Nothing was wrong with him. He said we are not married. This is Baudadash. If somebody is cooking an egusi soup, the person must lick the spoon to know whether there is salt in it or not. Especially when the food looks appetizing. I agree with you, Harry. But you see, Frank is not thinking in the same direction you're thinking. Look, he's your friend. I want you to help me talk to him. At least let me know where I stand. Yeah, no problem. I'll do something about that. All right? Uh, drink up. Okay? Ciao. Um, wait, wait, um, Frank, please come. There's something that has been troubling me, you know. I really want to let you know. It's about you and Sharon. I don't know why you're wasting time in grabbing what God gave you in a platter of gold. Beautiful girls like Sharon breezes along once every 100 years. I don't know why people don't value what they have until they lose it. Are you okay? Even with the type of food she cooked the other she time? She was under pressure, hoping that you make her yours. Maybe about the salt and pepper was a, as, as a result of overthinking. But see, I don't know, what, what are you waiting for? This girl loves you more than words. Paul, oh, calm down, calm down. All right, all right, all right. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, I'm going to do just as you have said. I will invite her to this house. And when she comes, okay. I will tell her there is something important I want to tell her. And then I will throw the proposal. But one thing, I right. want you to be there. No, 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 wrong notion. I won't be there. It's a one on one thing. Come oh, on. You're my body, man. There's no place, enough room for you now. Drinks to take. I want you to be around. All right, if you insist. When is it taking place? Um, I'll have to ask Sharon first. Then when she tells me, I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. Let's go! <laughs> Yes, you're welcome. Um, I feel so, I don't know. I feel so happy having you guys around. Um, Harry, thank you for honoring my invitation to witness this drama that's about to unfold. And to you, Sharon, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and um, the character you've also shown towards me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I would like to start my story. All right, before I start my story, there is one more important person I want us to invite here. And that person is no other than um, uh, Betty. Frank. 
What? what? You didn't tell me Betty's in town. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It must be a bad one. <laughs> I came in last night. Wow. Thanks, <laughs> everything. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Um, Sharon. Why are you standing at Betty? Do you know her before? So I can start my story. But before I do, before I start my story, um, I'd like to introduce Betty to Sharon. Sharon, this is Betty. Um, the one you knew as um, Vicky in Enugu. Wait. Somebody should talk to me. Am I still here? Uh, Frank, are you saying you knew Sharon before you met her here in Abuja? Um, Harry, please calm down, okay? Um, all your questions will be duly answered when I'm through with my story. Okay? Yeah, it was true. Um, my sister and I went to Enugu to see my uncle, and I overstayed, you know, um, which wasn't what I planned. But that was because there was this beautiful girl I saw, and then I, 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 I fell in love with, and I thought would love me back too. You remember what you told me when I called you on the phone, after giving you a tip of the iceberg? Don't worry. I have said don't worry. There is a lady I need to get answers from. Come on, I'll be back. I don't understand you, Frank. You said something about disguising yourself the other time. How much longer are you going to wait for her answer? Calm down. I am waiting and I'm hoping. Come on, very soon now. Come. You don't need to see. You need to see this girl. She's a princess. You don't sound like the Frank I know. There are millions of girls out there who could kill just to be with you at the snap of your finger. Whatever that girl has given you, enter the next flight and return to Abuja. You're bigger than this. I later told you when I returned to Abuja how the same girl dealt with me, oh, sat me on a seat of thorns. Frank, you're telling me a new story. I don't understand. What your experience in Enugu has to do with the setting of time? Well, what I'm saying is the lady in question is here, Sharon. She's the one I was talking about. The Sharon you're saying, she was the one who dealt with me in Enugu. Yeah, you know as well as I do that even in movies. But this script you're narrating is impossible. Wait, Frank, you met Sharon in Enugu and she disgraced you. Then she met you in Abuja and could not recognize you and ended up loving you. How can you reconcile that? I don't understand. You need to understand, please. Yes, we went to Enugu, right? Betty and I, to my uncle's house. And then. When we got there the next day, we decided to see around town and then we chatted the taxi. That lady selling um, fruits in a wheelbarrow. Mm, I saw her. What about her? Wow. She looks very, very beautiful. And she's so humble to think that she could stoop so low to come and to, to be selling fruits in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Frank, who is that your concern? This is the kind of woman I've been praying for. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you trying to close the door? You want to go and meet her? Go talk to her now. Get out of this petty kind of business. Then what? 
then um, then um, then nurture her and then marry her. Yes, for me this could be love at first sight. <laughs> what if she doesn't love you at first sight? What are you talking about? Okay, see, hmm? let me explain something to you. If a monkey becomes Bill Gates' son today. Even a beauty queen will fall for him. You know why? No woman rejects a man with money. Yes. Betty actually told me to slow down. That I was going a bit too fast. So, together, she and I decided to take a second look at the fruit cellar. Uh, like you all, you know, when it was no big deal. So we were able to find out where she lived without her knowing it. The person who helped us do this was my uncle's staff, someone who was working for my uncle. On the same vein, the same staff working for my uncle assisted us in making sure Sharon's, the fruit seller's neighbor, vacated her room. She was paid off. You know, I told you money was not a problem. Yes, and she left. Satisfied that everything was set. Betty now went to her house. In fact, Betty visited Sharon. Um, my name is Vicky. Okay, how can I help you? The thing is, um, I I've been to other compounds. In, in search of a house to rent, but all to no avail. Um, do you know if there is any vacant room here that I can rent? Please. Even under the rain, you're still in search of a house. Uh, yes, I, I really need the house as soon as possible. That's why I came under the rain. Anyway, I'm not the owner of the house, but all I know is that there's my neighbor here that packed out. This one? Yes. Maybe I'm actually on my way out. But then I help you take you to the landlord so that you can ask him yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Just a minute. Like I've always told you, money was no problem. So Betty got her room very close to the fruit seller and I also moved in in the same way like I said Betty changed her name from Betty to Vicky and I changed mine from Frank to Joss who became Betty Trillions just because we wanted to find true love from the fruit seller What did I not do? I loved that with all my heart. I showed her love. Did everything for her. But what did she do? She mocked me. She messed me up. It was so bad that the emotional brutality got to my friend. Who wanted to, to really, let me say, fight on my behalf. I could take paracetamol on my own headache. Satisfied that we were on a wild goose chase. My sister here, Betty, told me the game was over. I hope you are now convinced that that girl doesn't love you. That girl doesn't have an iota of love for you. Eh? See the way you would have killed yourself for um, love at first sight. I think it's high time we move away from here. I am tired of staying here. 
I know. I understand you. I will leave here with you very soon. But please, I need you to give me more time. Yes, I need to be 100% sure she despises my person. I don't get you. What I'm trying to say is um, I need her to see me like a rich man and see if she will still despise me. I will need to be sure she doesn't like my person. Okay? Please, give me some time. That is a plan I have. And I intend to achieve that. I know you understand. Huh? I'm tired of this place. You understand. Calm down, okay? Just one more chance and we'll be gone. Fake doesn't love you. You know what? You can do this for your brother. I brought up another plan. I asked my father's admin manager to put up an advert on our website for job vacancies. And Betty told her about it. She got interested, applied, and got the job. Yes, she got the job. You see, the room, the money, you're paid, everything came from me. Cheryl, please tell me something. That Frank is telling us a story from the latest movie he watched. The guilty is always afraid to speak. I try to convince her all to no affair. Cheryl, if half of what I'm hearing about you is true, then you're nothing but an agent of Seta. That's what you are. Once she met me in Abuja and was very surprised to say the least. So she ran out, excused herself, and um, made a phone call to Betty to ask about me. Uh, Betty, who was operating from my uncle's house, having left the ghetto, said I was still in the ghetto. And I guess she was not satisfied. She told the company that she had an emergency and had to travel back to Enugu. But what she didn't know was the manager already told me, even before she told me. So we allowed her to go. She left for Enugu. But we had our rules in that, and we were ready for her. Several times you had to travel to Enugu. To do what? Nothing other than to find out if Frank and Justin are one and same person. But what you do not know was when you get into that bus and leave, I call my sister Betty. Betty gets back to the ghetto to wait for you. And whilst you're on the road, I take the next available flight and I'm back to the ghetto before you. But she continued to harden her heart and refused to change. But um, she confided in me in one of her visits to Enugu. Mm, Vicky, I don't know if I can trust you. There's something I would like to confide in you about. Sharon, what are you saying? You can virtually tell me everything. I'm your friend. There's this guy I met in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And he looks exactly like Justin. That's why I've been coming back and asking you about Justin. I'm wanting to see Justin. But now I'm 100% sure that he's not Justin. Really? Um, have you told the guy in Abuja about Justin? Maybe they are related. God forbid. That guy is not Justin. Look, that guy is the son of a very wealthy man. I mean, do you want Justin to pour and pollute my, my, my gary with sand? Hmm. Hmm. No. Um, but 
What if they finally meet each other? What will you do? Anyway, by then I must have already taken and grabbed everything I want to grab from that rich guy in Abuja. And um, what exactly do you want from the rich guy? <laughs> Vicky, what else would I want from the rich guy if not his money? <laughs> Sharon doesn't love you. She doesn't have an iota of love for you. Your money is her target. What manner of wickedness? Well, I had to lie to my friend in the ghetto that I, I got a job as a laborer in um, a construction company. I took over for all the travels I, I make out of the ghetto. How is the ghetto? Come on. <laughs> you don't see I'm nice. I'll see there. Welcome, Shah. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you very, very much. Mm. Wow, it hasn't been easy. I know. <laughs> I know. This construction company, guys, ha, they will tell you to do this one, do this one, do this one. Which one will you do and leave the other one? <laughs> but the thing is not showing your body. You look fresh. I'm telling you. Like this? Yes. Oh, you can, you can say that again. Hey, sorry, this man, this uh, old papa, though, you're leaving the other... Okay. He didn't make it, finally make it. Hmm, you see that man later died. Oh. Oh. The family, they tried, Shao, but the man didn't make it. Chai. Chai, I used to call Papa Ogwe. That's what I call him. Yeah. Papa Ogwe. Oh, wow. <laughs> the man died. Yeah. Hey, uh, anyway, no wahala. Come, let me go buy you one bottle. One bottle for the uh -uh. One bottle. Just see. Yeah. What is that? What is So now, the question is this, Sharon. Do you think you have a place in my heart? So he's now a crime to fall in love? Eh? Why are you punishing that young man? Sharon, if you don't want him, if you're not interested in him, tell him so that he can walk away peacefully. Sharon, let me remind you that what goes around comes around. You are treating this guy as a slave because you know he's madly in love with you. You are a fool. Wait, excuse me. What were you thinking? You think I'll stoop so low to be with a wretch like you? Oh, no. Okay. Thank God you kissed me because I've just confirmed something about you now. Your mouth stinks. Eh? Yes, your mouth stinks. Go and wash it. My answer is no. Sharon is not for you. Frank, please. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. It's... Crime will never save you. Look at you. So innocent. Beautiful. Sexy, irresistible, and charming. But in one way, you are dark as charcoal. I will see that my friend send you back to go to where you belong. Amen. When my friend, man shall rise again. Once there's life, there is hope. That food you saw today, tomorrow you reap all. Only know today, you know not tomorrow. So, Gajerad, that is some of the problem I have. Oh. My brother's wife is packing me, and it's in the tire me. I don't have anywhere to go. That village is not an option at all. I can't go there. That's why I came for you to help me stay in your own room. For a period of time, so I will gather some small money and find my own house. 
You see, Tony, uh, I'm sorry about your problem, but see, I'm so sorry that I cannot do anything now. I need to know more about you, yes. Then I can be able to give you some financial help to support you get a room for yourself. Wonders shall never end. What a positive transformation. We too. Ah. Is that your auntie's car? Ah, never mind who owns the car. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. See, this is um, Tony. Okay, hi. He stays in a room with his brother, but now his brother is uh, married. And he's uh, looking for a place to stay. That is why he came to meet me for an advice. Really? Uh, Tony, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Vicky. Uh, okay, um, Gerard, which bank do you have an account with? My bank? Uh, I bank with uh, Providence Bank. But why do you ask? Okay, um, just give me your account number. My account number is uh, 560. Okay. Zero. Zero two five one zero one two. Wait, 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 wait. Vicky, what's the meaning of this? An alert of one million naira? Gerard, calm down, it's just one million naira. You're calling one million naira just? <laughs> wait, 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 I need an explanation for it. I'm lost here. Gerard, why are you screaming? It's just one million naira. Okay, let me explain something. Hey. I just bought this room and everything in it. I just want you to go in there and get your certificates. Your documents, your files, that is all you need to get from this place. Then you hand over the key to Tony here. Tony, this is now your new home and everything in it. V! Yeah. What? Somebody should wake me up. No, 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 I'm dreaming. <laughs> wake me up. Pinch me! You see, Vicky. Vicky, I need explanation for this. Tell me, what is happening? Come on, is this real? Okay, fine. Listen, calm down. Okay, I will explain everything once we're out of here. Just go in there and get your files. Come on. Gerard, move! Go and get your files! Oh, is this real, Vicky? <laughs> go. My good lord. Gerard. Tony, enjoy. <laughs> Give me baba.
looking at um, everything that has happened these few days, I still believe that I am dreaming. To me, it seems impossible, but it's happening. But the question there is, um, why me? I mean, you should have continued your life, your wealthy life without me. I don't deserve all these things that you're doing for me. See, Gerald, all my life, I have not seen someone as nice as you. Gerald, you are so natural, so pure, so transparent. Thank you for everything. Look at the way you supported and loved my brother. Despite the fact that you didn't know about his background, yet you supported him. I should be the one thanking you. You see, I still look forward to seeing your brother when he returns from Paris. <laughs> um, the conversation on phones are not just enough. Of course you will. He's even more eager to see you than you are to see him. Really? Yes. You know, he had this pending business trip to France, but he will soon be back. You only know today, you know no tomorrow. I need your love tonight, I need your love tonight, oh baby. Show me some love tonight, show me your love tonight, oh tonight, oh tonight. I don't deserve to have a glance on you or even hold your hands because you're a special person. Your heart is even more special than you look in outward appearance. <laughs> Thank you for all that you have done for me. George, you are very special to me. You are so special. You are one in a million. You deserve everything. Once there is life, there is hope. That food you saw today, tomorrow you reap. You only know today, you know no tomorrow. I need your love tonight, I need your love tonight, oh baby. Show me some love tonight.